Well, this is a strange poem. It captivated me immediately by its witty charm when I heard it on a programme called Saturday Live on the BBC about 11 years ago now. And uh, what happened was that at the beginning of the programme, the poet Matt Harvey was introduced and he said he would compose a poem on any subject he was given and read it at the end of the morning and the subject that was given to him was theoretical physics so his poem is called theoretical physics and that they're celebrants of elegance apologists for awesomeness give physical reality excruciating scrutiny each and every moment is a photon opportunity they breathe rarefied air on the cusp of the known where antiparticular unseeds are unsown in the face of this immensity, my mind feels it has the density of a shorty sort of plank. It feels this constantly and with a silent sea. Let me explain. If the energy E of a particle P and its dignity D are all relative, R, to the way they are seen, S, or misunderstood, hmm, it's my best guess, BG, that they're subject, SJ, to the forces, FC, of ignorance, I, the desire to sound deep, hmm, my emotional baggage, ebb, floaty otherness, flow, and a tempered, eh, up by the deep knowing, that we find in our heart. So that far from chanting a secular om shanti with the cognoscenti, we wind up sipping skinny latte with the ignorati. All of which is best expressed by the equation E over P subdivided by D and surrounded by R equals 2 pi R spurned, magnified by K, H, undermined by I, O, and undeterred by U, E, which is why inertia is deep and the light that reaches us from Andromeda is never truly fresh.' 